Good morning! Yes, it's actually morning. Oh, I can so see that I just had my, um, and yes, I'm getting my nails done today. See what my hands look like without, they're like little fetus hands. Um, uh, it's also, what's also funny is when I, the few times that I rip my nails off like this and I try to text, I'm so used to everybody go, how do you text with those nails? Let me tell you, it's harder for me to text without my nails, like I have to do it a million times, because you just get used to what you have. But I can see that my, my mouth and my teeth always look blue after I've taken my Genetics HD in the morning. So I just had my Genetics HD in right now. Maybe you can't see it when you're watching my video, but I'm looking at myself right now in the feedback thing, or whatever you call that, and I can see that my lips look blue. So there's that. Anyway, happy day before Thanksgiving 2012. Oh, damn it. Oh, I'm burning my fingers off right now. Y'all know I am obsessed with large coffee mugs, especially those that have my boyfriend on it, Starbucks. Um, so we've got our cinnamon and our coconut oil, which exhibit A, broke in the luggage. But that's okay. Because, folks, just to tell you, the reason I'm bringing this out is for multiple reasons this morning. To let you know, you can almost now get coconut oil everywhere. The song is gonna make me wanna jump up and go crazy. Because I'm so excited for the holidays. How can you not love the song? Sorry. Yes, I'm that person that starts playing Christmas music the day after Halloween. Coconut oil is even available at Walmart. Look at this huge ass um, container. Um, for those of you, I'm gonna give you like a little example, which by the way, let me rewind because the majority of this vlog today is gonna be all about very exciting, cool gear from Reebok because we just got back um, from a whole week in Boston. Not everybody was there for the whole week. I was there for the whole week. And I need Botox because every time I drive in Boston, I want to become an alcoholic. Um, but I have a bunch of stuff on my counter here to show you. And I'd like to point out before I go into the coconut oil thing, briefly, trying not to digress too much. Un momento, por favor. Si, yo hablo espanol, pero más lento. Uh, Descarciadamente, uh, yo necesito a practicar mi español más. ¿Entiende? Ah. So, do you see what I'm wearing right now? Do you see the keyholes, ladies? I wore this shirt yesterday. Okay, I'm going to sound like a completely ridiculous fitness person right now. I wore this shirt yesterday to go do back and biceps at the gym, which, let me just say, so felt so great to be really lifting heavy yesterday. So I was doing back and biceps yesterday. I'm exciting, so much stuff to tell you guys. And a couple of things. So I wore this shirt and my pants, and this is where I'm gonna sound ridiculous because, you know, I don't go to the gym. I don't wear makeup or anything. I put my headphones on and my baseball cap. I'm not there to be like, oh, you want some of this? Um, not that kind of person, right? But thank God I'm getting my eyebrows done today. <laughs> I'm contradicting myself by saying that I'm not that shallow when I really am. Um, this shirt that I'm wearing I, is so comfortable, so flattering, so everything. It stretches, it moves, so it's fitted, right? Okay, so you can zip this all the way up, okay? So you could wear this outside running. Ladies, we've got our thumb holes, and it, you know, it comes out, so this is like a different fabric than this. Again, forgive my nails. Um, it doesn't zip all the way down, it goes just to unzip here. So, sorry, showing you a little bit too much, <laughs> Austin Powers. Um, on the back, we've got the Delta. Let me just tell you, so in the front, this is what's so cool, in the front, and don't write me and send me emails going, how come Kelly, we couldn't see the whole thing? I live by myself. I can't videotape myself without looking really stupid. My nose started running. Um, so in the front, it goes down lower. Like, I, 
hate describing it this way. Like it goes down almost by where your thighs are touching your area there, your groin. In the back, it raises up over the bute. So let me just tell you, I actually, not in the gym, at home, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna say it. I'm gonna put it out there. I probably spent at least three minutes looking at my, my buttocks <laughs> in the mirror. I'm like, damn, damn, oh, damn. I'm not even lying. I'm telling you, this shirt, okay, I like almost everything but that Reebok comes out with lately. <laughs> like, I'm like, kidding. But they're really, like, it, it keeps getting better and better and better. And this shirt, I gotta tell you, all the girls were wearing this. We were just up at Reebok on Friday for a Fitfluential event, our second one at Reebok World Headquarters. And we all got this shirt, and the, the girls were wearing it that day. I was not, I was in my business clothes. Um, but I kept looking at them and they all look so great in it. And now that I have it on, I'm like, I'm gonna need this in every, I don't even know what other colors there is, but I'm just gonna say if you want this, you can go to shop.reebok.com or I think you can just go to reebok.com. It's probably, because it says CrossFit on it, um, obviously you don't have to wear it. If you don't do CrossFit, you can wear it for other activities. Um, when you go to reebok.com and you wanna shop there, um, go to women's and then CrossFit. I think sometimes they, it's a little bit difficult, I told them, to find some of the things, but this would be under the CrossFit gear. Also, can I just add, they gave us a um, gift card to shop in the Reebok store. Freaking cool socks. Sorry, they're compression too. So this is graduated compression. Um, I have some other compression socks. They are not, um, I've, I've totally left the coconut oil topic as you can see but we'll get back to it um, these I wore running the other day into my workout um, a lighter compression um, this is not like some of the compressions that I have socks that are much much I don't know how to describe this much more aggressive compression now I'm gonna tell you a couple surprises in the shoe department so I um, am very blessed that Fitfluential, which is my company, so I'm being full disclosure here. Fitfluential is my company and Reebok is my client, so full disclosure. Um, these lovely shoes that I'm about to talk to you about were gifted to me from Reebok. Um, I'm not being told what to say. I have not been asked to do this video. I just thought I have to bring out all my children and share with you some fun facts. Um, I'm going to tell you which ones I love, which ones I haven't used yet, and then which ones are kind of like neutral with me and why. Because it's funny. The ones that I like more, um, a lot of a lot of my girls and guys like the kind that I'm not as wild about. But everybody, you've got to find what you like for your purposes. Some people, for example, with a running shoe, they want um, really solid support. Some people veer more towards um, something that has less support because you know. And I don't know all the reasons. I just know what I like. Now, originally, you probably saw, and you'll also notice. This is a little tip for you people that sweat a lot. If you have a lot of shoes, put dryer sheets in your shoes, especially if you travel, bring dryer sheets with you. Um, it keeps them smelling fresh because if I didn't have these in here, I'd probably go like this. <coughs> okay, so dryer sheets in the shoes at all times. Tip of the day, in addition to the coconut oil for, let me just, in case I forget to say it, coconut oil is not just for cooking. I put it on my entire body, on my face, on my elbows, on my cracked feet, on my entire body as a lotion, and in your hair. Snap. These were some of the shoes that we got this summer. Now, these come in a lot of colors. Th these are the shoes that I'd say all of my guys and girls in Fitfluential love. I love how they look on. Um, for me personally, I feel like, do you see how this is all? soft okay this is just totally my opinion i don't care i don't like to wear these to work out in that's just me and here's why i these feel so light when you wear them um i almost feel like i'm wearing a sock with a sole now this is totally personal preference because i'm the only one everybody else was telling me that th this is their favorite model this if i'm correct um i like the zig and the um 
the flex. Okay, so this is, oh, now I just forgot. I wonder if the model is on here. We were telling them uh, this weekend that they, they need to put the, um, the make and model, the make on the shoe. Real flex? Maybe this is real flex. Um, most of my people love this for working out, um, and I think some of them have gone running in it. Um, for me, like, I will wear this, um, I kind of wear this with fitness clothes, like, I just wear it more as, this is like a casual shoe. Totally just my impression. It feels very light. Some of you guys might like it, but, you know, as you can see, all of this up here is very, very light, and it's a very light shoe. These come in all kinds of colors. These, these are the favorites of most of my people in Fitfluential. They love these for working out. For me, it, it, it doesn't give, I, I guess what my preferences are is when I have my, my foot in a shoe, I almost want it to be locked and loaded. You know, I don't want a lot of freedom of movement and I feel like this gives you a lot of freedom of movement. Doesn't mean I'm right, I'm just telling you what, what my thing is. Now, for, for CrossFit specifically, these are their CrossFit shoes. Okay, now as you can see, now I'm not doing CrossFit right now, um, but I probably will be doing some, whatever you want to call it, maybe like CrossFit, um, some of the CrossFit moves, right? But I'm not at a CrossFit box doing CrossFit. But for those of you that are, this is their most popular CrossFit shoe. Totally flat on the bottom. I'm not even going to try to speak to why this is. There's something special about that on the bottom. Go to Reebok.com and find out for yourself. Make sure you put your bounce sheets in your shoes. Um, all of uh, the Fitfluential peeps that are doing um, CrossFit really like the shoe, and apparently this is very popular. Higher, they did explain some of this, but you know, the higher in the back for stability, um, and this gives you, so compared to that shoe, this is much more solid, especially back here. There's a lot more support as well as the toes. So I haven't worn these yet, um, because I was kind of putting them on hold until I went to a CrossFit box, but I will be wearing these, and I, I will be honest with you, this is where I'm completely shallow. I've always liked to buy shoes. <laughs> You're gonna laugh. This has nothing to do with fitness. Like, I would look at a shoe like this and go, it doesn't have any heels on it. <laughs> because I'm so short. <laughs> but um, <laughs> I will wear these um, on, on leg days and um, you know, I'll let you know how I like it. But the people that do CrossFit love the shoe. It comes in so many amazing colors for men and women, yada, yada, yada. Now, this is where it gets really fun. How cool is it that you can actually design your own shoe and pick out every single part of the shoe at Reebok? That's right, I made up my own shoe. So this is completely customized. Um, these are the um, CrossFit Oli Lifter. I hope I'm saying that right, O-L-Y. Um, for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, that's short for Olympic lifting. Maybe it's not, and I'll sound like a total moron, but that pretty much happens every time I shoot a video. Um, so this is also particularly for CrossFit, and it's designed with, you know, support and lift in the back, less in the front. Now, when you go to design these shoes, you can design your own shoes. How cool, I'm just gonna put it out there, how cool of a holiday gift would this be? You get to design, you know, the color of this, the color of this on the outside, the color of this on the inside, um, you know, if this is leather or if it's cloth or if it's mesh, you get to pick the color of this. Um, you get the Velcro. Now, they were um, telling us this at Reebok. You know, somebody was like, why do you have this as opposed to the, um, just the laces? This is all about locking and loading your feet in there for support, um, specifically for those that are in specific CrossFit moves. They've designed this for the stability that the athletes were telling them. Um, I chose all leather because I don't, I, I don't like how cloth gets really dirty. I'm all about cleanliness. But um, how cool is that? So you get to pick your own colors here, here. I kind of feel like I'm on a show. Um, you get to pick the color of this, the color of this, the color of this, everything. So um, again, these I'll be working with my new trainer. Um, and when we do anything that is, you know, I'm working out at Lifetime Fitness, I'm being focused. So I'm not going to like CrossFit and yoga and training for marathons and going to Lifetime. I'm focused and I'm working with my trainer on one thing. So I will not be going to the CrossFit box and doing CrossFit. Um, maybe that'll be down the road, but when we do anything CrossFit style or um, 
uh, CrossFit moves, if you will. Um, I will be testing these out and letting you know how I like them. Now, my two, last two shoes. Wow, we're already at 15 minutes. Um, these are the ones that I got before I left from Reebok. Um, now these are the Real Flex. Thank you, Reebok, for putting that on the back. Um, I pretty much fell in love with these just by looking at them. So I can't lie to you, I have not tried these on yet. I didn't bring them with me to Boston. I'm just, number one, this is all really soft fabric, this mesh. Looks like there's more support in the back. I, of course, utterly shallow and having nothing to do with fitness. Well, kind of. It's got, you know, the really uh, nice support or, or more of a platform on the, on the bottom. So I like that. I like how it looks. I guarantee you um, I'm also going to like how it feels because um, I just am getting more and more impressed with Reebok. Now, again, there's three models that I'm showing you here for non-CrossFit. There's this one, which I'm going to get into in a minute. This is the Zig. This is Real Flex. God, did I just say that the wrong way? Do you see the difference in the bottoms? Um, this is what a lot of my, um, again, everybody, all my people love these. I tend to feel that they're, um, they're not locking my feet in as much for what I prefer. Um, this comes in a ton of bright colors. Um, this can be for running or fitness. Um, I, I very specifically asked them, and I'm leading into my last point. I asked them because they were talking about using this. I told them, I tried this out and I did a lower, lower body workout at the hotel gym. And so that was the first time I used these. And I thought they were great, very stable. My foot wasn't moving side to side, whatever. So I was all like, cool, this would be a great, you know, um, for lifting days, it'll be great. Never thought that I would use this for running. Then we went in the next day and they were talking about how this can be for running and this can be for running. And they told us that we could run in this. I'm gonna be very honest with you. I was sitting there going, I'm not gonna like that for running. I went and I tried it and I was, I mean, I really thought what would happen, I'm just being honest with you. I thought, plastic squirrel is out there again. I thought that I would try it and I would immediately feel it and that there was no way. And then what would happen is I would just talk about these and say, hey, these are great for working out, you know? Because I don't know, and I've, I, I told them that I doubted it. I went and I did a run, and I was so completely surprised. I just don't know why I didn't think it was going to be great for running. But not only did I run on the treadmill, then I was kind of so like, these are so cool, these feel so great, and I love how they look. So then I went and I ran outside because I just felt kind of so badass and so happy about the shoes. So I'm just letting you know, when Reebok tells you that they've studied this and that they've made these shoes and we're, maybe I'm gonna have Angry Trainer and Steve Feaster do a video about, they were talking to me about how you can use, you know, what shoes can you use for running and training and vice versa, because they really explained that well. Um, and it wasn't just, they weren't just talking about Reebok shoes. But I'm just gonna say, these shoes, love, was pleasantly surprised and wowed by how great they are for running. So, my skeptical nature was wow. So I'm gonna tell you, like, how cool is all this stuff? I haven't even gotten into the other cool clothes, but as you can tell, I'm kind of like happy with Reebok. They're a great organization. Um, they walk the walk, people. They're just, um, they care about fitness. They care about changing their products based on what the consumer needs, based on what the athlete needs. Just, we're just all so wild with them and it just keeps getting better. So that said, I have to run. We're almost at 20 minutes. I will see you tomorrow. Have a great turkey day if you're in the U.S. And if you're not, I bet you wish you were.